Hey everyone, it's the Crypto Diet coming with another video and this time we're going to talk about the myth, the legend, the sandbox. The sandbox or ticker code SAND has been doing an incredible run at the moment. We're up almost 30% in the last 24 hours. So I really wanted to cover this coin. I thought I'd give my own personal opinion on it and my own analysis on it, both on the fundamentals and the technical analysis on it because oof, this coin is killing it. So what is Sandbox? Sandbox is a metaverse token. Now, if you know what a Sandbox is, it's basically a type of genre actually that was in the gaming industry. So if you guys remember Grand Theft Auto, everyone should know what that game is at the, you know, what it is at the moment. It is one of the biggest games in the world, probably the biggest game in the world. And what happened in Grand Theft Auto 3, when the game started to really get mass appeal, I started to call it a sandbox game, meaning that it had a bit of everything in it. It had a bit of driving, shooting, all these kinds of sandbox experience. It was a create your own adventure sort of story. So that's what Sandbox is actually trying to do as a cryptocurrency. So basically what you can do is you can use your Sandbox tokens and you can buy a piece of land in the metaverse and you can make whatever experience that you want in it. Pretty cool, right? The reason why I prefer Sandbox over Decentraland is because Sandbox is really trying to empower the user to create the experience, to really create a world and, and NFTs and things like that. When you give players the option to create a world, they'll do some pretty cool things. And we have tons of examples, such as when Microsoft bought Minecraft. Minecraft was huge when it came out and that was all about a Sandbox experience. It was giving users the ability to play and create a world that they wanted to create. Then you had also stuff like Little Big Planet and you had Dreams, things like that. So if you're familiar with these games, you know there's some pretty cool levels in it and pretty cool designs and all user generated, meaning that the users actually created them. So that's why I really resonate with Sandbox because I'm like, yeah, I've seen this work before. This can work. There can be some really cool experiences that end up taking place in this metaverse. So I'm pretty bullish on this coin just from the fundamentals alone. Now, if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I like to compare coins to the Ethereum value. So all these coins are compared to the ETH value. You can see how many of them bleed to ETH. And then we've got the Sandbox. We've got almost up one year to date, almost up 2000%, year to date 3000%, six months, 1300%. And just in the last seven days, if you invested into Sandbox in the last seven days, you would have made double your money. This is why I tell people, you don't have to look for a bottom, you know, two, three, four, 500 market cap coin to make profits. You can actually buy a coin that is pretty high up on market cap. I mean, 37 is pretty high up, I think. And look at that, in the last seven days, you would have doubled your money. You don't have to get these super high risk coins you can buy these coins. It's just about telling yourself that I'm going to wait. I'm going to buy a good opportunity. I'm going to hold. Now, maybe you don't get 100% in seven days. Maybe it takes two weeks, three weeks, but don't be spoiled. Don't take the profits. Enjoy the profits because I promise you no other industry gives these kinds of turns. Now, let's look at the chart. The chart, this is its mid 50%. You can just see that we are way above our mid 50% mark. So if you wanted a price target to potentially buy Sandbox, you'd be looking at about $4.66 in the mid term. Now, if you want to actually pull this 50%, this glorious Michael Bazzino 50%, you'd be looking at about $3.83, give or take, about $3.82 for a major 50%, meaning that if the Sandbox did come back and test, we would be looking at buying around this area and some consolidation around its major 50%. And you can see how good and why Michael Pazino loves this tool is because you can actually see, look at that, we found some support right on it, tested very, very shortly before just taking right off again. And like I said, these are these coins. These are the good coins when they just have these pumps to them and no signs of slowing down. So maybe we get a bit of a consolidation here. Maybe we test back, we don't know. This is also the risk when a coin's going to all time high. When a coin's at its all time high, we call it blue skies ahead, meaning that we don't know where we're going. We don't know what's happening. We don't know what's happening in front of us. We're just enjoying the ride. Maybe you jump on the ride at the top and you know what? You end up going to $14. There's so much clear skies where there's a lot of runway. We're just enjoying the ride. Maybe it goes back down to $5. We don't know. I think it's going to continue because Metaverse is pretty much in and all these coins have just kept pumping that other, the gaming coins, the Metaverse coins. All these have just been going and going and going and running while all these other coins have just been basically in the red as you can see on the sidebar there. Just imagine what's gonna happen when the bull run really starts. It's very tough to give price predictions on a coin like this when we are already at an all time high. All we can say is that if you've already got this coin, I would not be selling out of it. You can take some profits here and there, but I definitely keep the majority of my position going into this bull run because I still think this coin at a 37 market cap still has a lot of runway ahead of it. And look at it, it's been phantom. It's gonna go for Filecoin soon. I could see it passing Atom and FTT and ICP. So I can see this being in the top 25 and you'd be getting some pretty good profits by then too. 
So we can wait for a bit of a pullback. We don't know how much of a pullback we're going to get because this coin is in such high demand. The trick here is you have to tell yourself, are you in or are you going to wait for a pullback? And you need to stick to that plan. And if you miss it on either side of the coin, meaning that if it if you buy it and it goes up, awesome, happy days. But if you buy it and it goes down, I would just be holding onto this coin going into it. This is a very, very strong buy in my opinion. Furthermore, to continue we still have the rsi at over 70 which is overbought so we consider on the rsi 70 is considered overbought and i mean look at this we're we're pretty much at 90 on the rsi and with no signs of slowing down so it's a very 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 hot coin that you really want to be careful when approaching this coin if you are looking to get into it we do like to have a bit of a pullback and maybe for it to come back to 45 on the rsi but Ugh, it's it's very very tough to say because if you do get the pullback you might not get much of a pullback and you have to have your triggers ready to go and this is why i always tell my friends have your triggers ready to go so that if you're out and you can get the notification to buy you can buy it because these coins might even touch them for one or two days look at these red bars you've only got two of them that means you had two down days and we just kept going up and up so have your price targets in mind, have your alerts ready to go. Now I also have my trend line here and you can see that this is our major support here, still so far away. So coins looking incredibly strong at the moment with a very, very, very bright future ahead of it. Strong on the RSI, strong on the 50% Michael Pazina Fib tool. I mean, this is a buy for me if you're willing to hold on for a while or if you wanna wait for a pullback, but definitely a coin to keep your eyes on because if some specials do come or we do get a market correction soon, this is a very interesting buy that I'll be looking at to buy at. If this video helped, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow for a new cryptocurrency that I'm gonna